Hello DVD, welcome to GameSQ. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix this GTA issue. The program can start because steam-api64.dll is missing from your computer. So if you have this issue, make sure to watch this video. And please go ahead and subscribe my channel. Let's get started. Okay guys, to fix this GTA 5 issue, first of all just go ahead and open up your web browser. And then just go to the dll-files.com, I put the link after this website on my description. So just go ahead and check out my description. Then just scroll down and just go ahead and uh, download this file uh, from this website. Just click on download and then just wait for a few seconds. Alright, and now just go ahead and extract this file to your uh, desktop. Just extract this file to your desktop. And now just go ahead and rocket click on steam-api64.dll uh, and then click on copy and just go ahead and copy this file. Then just go ahead and open up this PC. Now just go ahead and double click on local disk C. Then click on windows and just go to the windows folder. And now just look to find system32 folder and then just go ahead and click on it and now just go ahead and rocket click on your uh, mouse and then click on paste and just go ahead and paste this file on this folder then just go back to the windows folder just go ahead and click on uh, this folder as you can see just go ahead and click on this folder and then just go ahead and rocket click on your mouse and click on paste again so all you have to do is just go ahead and paste this file on this folder and then just go ahead and close this window and now just go ahead and restart your computer and then this error should be fixed but if that didn't work i recommend to just go ahead and disable your antivirus or just go ahead and verify your game files first of all just go ahead and open up your uh, game launcher like steam or epic games then just go ahead and rocket click on gta 5 then just go down and click on properties, click on local files and now you can verify your game files from here. And then you should be able to play GTA 5 without any issues. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. I hope this video helped you to fix this issue. Please go ahead and drop a like on this video and subscribe my channel. Peace out.